before we start the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Right, on to the video. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. You join me here today at Lake Tranquility with Scott. Uh, we did a video here last week where I think I ended on six carp up to £18.5 uh, testing Parker baits. Same thing again, testing Parker baits range out. I've got most of their range now, most of the sizes and flavours and colours etc. So yeah, I'll be going through as many flavours and colours and sizes and everything as I can. Uh, but yeah, really, really loving their uh, products. Like I say, if you haven't already, go check Parker Bates out. But yeah, um, further ado, let's get into the video and hopefully bag a few good carp today. Right, see you in So guys, we got uh, one rod on Parker Bates OG fruit and nut pop up in 14 mil. I've trimmed it down a bit just so it sits perfect on my spinner rig. And then my second rod, Parker Bates again, OG fish pop up in 14 mil. Again, trimmed down just so it sits perfect. I don't like using putty on spinner rigs. I use, I like it absolutely as minimalistic on the rig as possible. Um, so yeah, there are two approaches for both rods. So we'll see how they got on and then I'll update you later. All right, see you then, guys. So guys, the first rod will be just standard leg clip, uh, rig tubing set up on a spinner rig and a 15 mil cut down fruit and nut uh, pop up by Parker Bates. Right, let's get this one in and then get on to the next rod. Right guys, so I'm making this uh, mix uh, probably 12 to 24 hours uh, before my session. Um, basically just so it gives the time for the sauce and everything to proper soak in the boilies uh, and then the magic dust to attach to them. Um, so as you're watching my film, I would have done this obviously 12 to 24 hours before. But yeah, right, so what I'm going to do... Probably tip a quarter to half of them boilies in, then probably go about a quarter to half of that sauce and then just a coating of that dust. Right, I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. As you can see, just a nice coating of the sauce all over, which I'm going to stir up in a minute when I get it all in. But interestingly enough, when obviously uh, I use these on my last video, you would have seen the boilies. A lot of um, the dust that was on the boilies originally, uh, there was like a, almost like a paste at the bottom of the bag, which is really good. So it gave me a little bit of a sprinkling that you can can already see in there. I'll get a bit more of this sauce on and then I'll get the magic dust on and I'll show you what it looks like after. There you go, guys. That's the final product. Um, like I say, put the sauce in, put the magic dust over it. It sort of looks like malted malted, melted should I say, uh, Maltesers um, at the moment, which looks awesome. I've only done quarter quarter of a bag um, of boilies at the moment. I'll probably do about half a K um, uh, OG fish and uh, OG fruit and nut. Um, basically just, I don't need loads of bait where I'm going for 24 hours. I basically do a handful of bait around each rod each time for each fish. Um, so yeah, having half a K of prepped bait should keep me going for the first eight to 12 hours. And then when I'm there, when I'm running low, I can do another batch. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So yeah, let's crack on with the video. Well, that took all of 20 minutes, I think. Is this a fish one, Scott? It's a fish to the left. Fish to the left, yeah. Yeah, OG fish. Don't think it's very big. Like, I really, really don't think it's very big. It's definitely a single. Oh yeah, 100%. Could even be an F1. Well, I was literally updating a video and then my rod ripped off. <laughs> yeah, from the looks of it, 
looks like a little blinky mirror. But the little ones there, they go like blooming hell. Um, they fight really good for the size of them. A lot of the better ones are just plod and just don't want to do anything until you get them in the margins and then they'll kick off. These, the smaller ones, like all the low singles, mid singles and low doubles, they'll just go nuts the whole fight. <laughs> So that we'll get this one uh, netted for you and we'll show you in a second. All right, see you in, guys. There we go, guys. It was a bit bigger than I thought. It's £12 one uh, that fell to OG, oh, OG uh, fish, 14mm uh, pop up. Uh, but yeah, we'll get that one back and hopefully get another. So there you go, guys. That's the first one. Um, literally, probably about half an hour, give or take, the rods being in, but it fell to OG uh, fish pop up in 14mm. All, all I did as well um, is just uh, use the bait spray, sprayed it up a little bit, and that's all it was, a little uh, light scattering of um, OG fish uh, bottom bait boilies around it, and away it went. So I've just uh, resprayed my bait, uh, fired it back out again, chucked another handful or so of baits out. Um, that glugged bait that you would have seen from earlier, I've chucked um, a little bit of that out as well. So hopefully it brings in the fish and they start proper rummaging and hopefully we get a mid double at least um, a little bit later or like I say 20, 20 would be nice but like I say it's the average stamp here is high um, high single low double so even if I can just keep catching them throughout the day that'll be that'll be really good so right back in a bit guys there we go just a really small one probably three pound give or take but that's uh, on the 14 mil fruit and nut uh, pop up. So we'll chuck this one back and hopefully get a better one. Right, so there we go, guys. guys. We've had a double run. Uh, mine went on the OG fish uh, 14 mil. It's probably, I don't know, seven or eight pound. But Scott's had a lovely little in here <laughs> that's beating him up. Um, like I say, but yeah, we'll get these ones back. But I thought, get a little bit of us both as we both had a double run. So, right, see you in, guys. And literally, I've just had that uh, carp from <coughs> the double take, and literally within the rod being in a couple of minutes, it's rattled off again. This is on the fruit and nut. Oh, someone else is getting a bite over there. Yeah, I don't think this is particularly a big one again, but it's starting to wake up. Like I say, this here will be my fourth of the day so far. So, yeah, not too bad. We're getting there. It's, uh, I'm going to say it's common, but it's just a bit under the water for me to see properly. Yeah, nice little common. Alright, I'll get this one on the bank and I'll show it in a minute. That's in there, guys. There we go, uh, the, that was that fruit and nut rod that's ripped off. Bit of a damaged mouth, unfortunately. Uh, it's a bit of a parrot mouth, it's been caught quite a few times recently by the looks of it. But yeah, uh, 14 mil uh, fruit and nut pop up within a matter of minutes of casting in. So we'll get this one back and hopefully get another one. Right, see you in guys. Like last week, the rain started. Now it's really fine drizzle at the moment, but it's that stuff that gets you absolutely soaked. And today I haven't bothered setting up my brolly. Um, so yeah, it caught me pretty quick. So uh, it's been a quiet hour. Nothing else has happened, I think. I'm still on five, um, so what I might do in a minute, uh, I haven't tried any wafters yet, so I'll probably go on a OG fish wafter and give that a go, see if that starts producing a fish. So, right, back in a minute, guys. There we go, there's the fifth or sixth one on fruit and nut. It's probably only about six, seven pounds, something like that. But yeah, right, we'll get that one in and hopefully get some bigger ones soon. So, see you in a guys. Uh, and there we go guys, uh, literally 20 minutes after that last one you've just seen Rob's gone again uh, on fruit and nut um, pop up, it's only a, as you can see a little little dinky common um, and look at that, <laughs> 
not too forced because as you can see it's absolutely belting it down. Right, and my rod, after you've just seen that one that I've lost a minute ago, this one has absolutely ripped off again. Again, fruit and nut. Um, it's staying down a bit, so it might be a low double, I'm hoping. Or it's just a single that's putting up a good fight, but yeah, no, it could be just a single putting up a good fight. So we'll get this one in and we'll see you on the net. Here we go, guys, another small one, probably about six, seven pounds. Um, Belter fruit and nut 14 mil pop up, but as you can see, it's belting it down now, and I want to get this one back from just as soaked as him. Right, see you on the next fish. See you in. Right guys, as you can probably tell behind me, it is absolutely belting it down again. Surprise, surprise for autumn. Uh, for those who wanted to know, if you may have not seen my previous video, uh, the flavours of the boilers that I'm using, the OG fruit and nut consists of chocolate orange, coconut and peanut. And the OG fish uh, contains squid, octopus and fermented chilies. Um, so yeah, that's if you wanted to know what flavours are in each one of them. I have been using on both rods, uh, most of the 14 mil um, pop-ups, but I have been trimming them down just so it uh, balances just right on a size six uh, Ronnie rig. Well, size six hook and Ronnie rig. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've had, I think six carps so far. It's about three o'clock roughly now. So we've got a couple of hours till me and Scott go. So if I can get one or two more, it's been a fairly good day again soaking like i say with the rain throughout the day but it is what it is uh, also i will put the links in uh, for parker bait so if you are interested in trying them i'll put all the links in uh, the description so get onto the website and get ordering they are really really good bait so right hopefully i'll be back soon with another carp all right see you in there we go guys so that's number i think six or seven seven uh, yeah number seven probably about eight eight maybe nine pound give or take but yeah that was on og uh, fruit and nut 14 mil and i just trimmed it down but let's get this one back oh, before it does that and gets me soaked so right see you yeah, in guys, guys. Uh, that right hand rod went off again probably a scraper double probably 10 pound just about i'd say uh was on fruit and nut um but yeah it's getting towards the end of the day probably about another half an hour to 40 minutes left but yeah We'll get this one back maybe able to get another but that's it's at eight now for me yeah yeah all right sound there we go guys up oh. like i say just as scott was going pack the car up there's number nine so it's only a small one so we'll get this one back really fast but yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you on the next video. See you later, guys.